for their powerful speech and that introduction. I want to say thank you to the organizers of this march and rally for inviting me here today. I want to especially say thank you to all of you for braving the weather and coming out despite the circumstances and standing in solidarity us with here us with here today. I am a socialist feminist organizer with Socialist Alternative and the CWI Committee for Workers International. I am here today in solidarity with all my sisters and siblings who are tired of business as usual and looking for a real change. It is my belief that this change starts with us, specifically with us getting organized. This last year of 2018 was riddled with the violence of misogyny and bigotry. We saw families torn apart and treated like animals at the border, many of whom are fleeing the most violent city in the world. We saw at least 26 more trans women, most of whom are trans women of color, murdered in this country. And this number still doesn't account for those taken by suicide, which includes my comrade, may she forever rest in power. We saw an accused rapist confirmed to the Supreme Court, a role he will hold for the rest of his privileged life. I say enough is enough. Let's make 2019 a year of fighting back. We must build this fight from the ground up, much like the workers fighting against sexual harassment and low wages at McDonald's and Google and Marriott through strikes and pickets, mass actions and protests. This society cannot function without our labor. More evidence of this is seen in the courageous California teacher strikes happening this week. Those in power, the super wealthy and the corporations may control the corporate politicians and the courts, but we control what makes them powerful. Without us, without our work, they have nothing. It is our greatest power to organize together, to unite against those at the top and not those on our side. If we are going to stop the Trumps of the world, stop the Kavanaugh's, we have to stop business as usual. We must make this a consistent mass movement against the entire establishment, against rape culture, against capitalism. Under the attacks of the GOP and the predator-in-chief, I say the best offense is the best defense is a good offense. So let's fight for our demands by continuing to organize in our workplaces against sexual harassment. And this workplace should pay a living wage, 15 an hour across the state, no exceptions. And this wage should be in tandem with affordable housing for all because no person deserves to be homeless and no woman should be forced to stay in a toxic or dangerous environment because they can't afford the rent. And finally, Badger Care for All, including universal free access to high quality reproductive health care, including abortion, as well as full LGBTQ specific care and mental wellness. Instead of looking for leadership from one person or the Democratic Party, we need a shift towards solidarity amongst ourselves. It is up to all of us here today, to the unions, to the women's organizations, and other groups on the left to organize this fight. Now is the time to get involved with your union. Now is the time to get involved in a grassroots campaign. Now is the time to get involved with a socialist working class organization like Socialist Alternative. If you're looking for a next step, I invite you all to come next week to a meeting with my comrade Ginger Jensen 
a fellow socialist feminist organizer who ran for city council in Minneapolis and helped lead the fight for winning the first 15 an hour minimum wage in the Midwest. The only way to defeat sexism and racism and the power of the billionaire class is to build the widest, most organized, most class conscious and active movement of working people possible. We must unite to fight back against the whole system to win a better world for us, for our families, and for future generations to come. Now I'm going to lead us in a chant, and then I'm going to introduce the next speaker.